Hey guys, CT Strider here, and today I'm going to be playing some King the Hill Viaduct as the spy. Um, my loadout is the Dimeback Revolver, uh, Standard Snipe, uh, Sapper, and the Big Earner Knife. Um, so yeah, I'd say along with Harvest, this is my favorite King of the Hill map. Um, and it's especially good for spy in my opinion, because it has a shack that I'm in right now that um, is very good for deep cloaking. Um, whether you're using the standard Invisiwatch or the Dead Ringer, it's pretty isolated from the rest of the map, um, yet right in the center of the enemy um, side, so right when you're done deep cloaking, you can kind of get into action. Um, and also, what I just did right there is a nice redirect where I, as I'm cloaking, I pretend like I'm going one direction. Um, and then once I fully cloaked and you can't see me, I go in the other direction. Um, what I really should have done is not re-engaged him after that, because um, I was pretty vulnerable, but um, whatever, I still survived, so it was all good. And also, um, on that ledge I was just on where I got that backstab, a lot of um, snipers tend to kind of camp there on this map, so um, that's a good place to just go on a walk-by just to see if you can get any backstabs or revolver kills if they have a razor back. Um, unfortunately, that same sniper from before, who was probably a little paranoid since he had just engaged me about 30 seconds later, um, teleported in and killed me as a, before I got that health. But um, it's all good. Respawn going back now. Um, the only problem with this map is it's kind of dangerous to go through the center if you don't have a dead ringer. But um, if you kind of um, plan your path, I guess, you can make it out safely. Um, I do cloak there, I didn't realize there's a massive sentry nest there, um, so I'm gonna go take out the engineer, because, so, because normally if you sap their stuff, the engineer will instantly be able to tell, um, and then kill you before you can do it, um, so then after I kill the engineer, the other spot on my team, um, saps the stuff, so that was a nice teamwork there. Um, as you can see, I'm going back up here, checking, checking for more snipers or anyone who I can backstab, um, I, s I killed that um, sniper who was waiting for health um, with the crit I got on my dime back from the backstab I had earlier because um, I saw that he had less than full health so I knew I could kill him with one shot. And this guy's low health too, so I got a backstab on him. I thought I was going to get a butter knife on him, um, but I was able to get a backstab. And I killed that, spy, er, that sniper too who was in that um, typical sniper spot on this map. <laughs> and um, this is just... Yeah, this is kind of a mess right here. Um, I really shouldn't have gone in for that kill. This pyro would have easily roasted him, but um, I guess I was a little bit thirsty for that. <laughs> um, yeah. So, you know, if your team's going to get the kill either way, there's no point in really going for it because um, it doesn't help your team at all, especially if you die and uh, have to respawn in. But, um, yeah, it's all good. We're going back now. Um... You know, they made a change to the big earner. I don't know how recently. Um, I just started playing again um, quite recently. But um, now it gives you a speed boost after you get a bass stab, which I think is really nice. I used to use the Spice Skull and other knives, but um, now I use this because that 30% speed boost you get after a kill can really segue into nice chain stabs like you saw there, and also just generally being able to escape after you get a risky um, bass stab. But, um, yeah, I joined halfway through that round, so unfortunately I wasn't able to top score, but um, we'll get a fresh round going now um, and see what happens. So um, generally I like to disguise as the Devilman or the Sniper. Um, you know, some classes that I see uh, newer players disguising as that you really shouldn't are the Scout and the Medic in my opinion, because the Spy can't run as fast as the Scout, so it looks really off to the enemy team and it's obvious that you're a... Um, you know, spy, and um, as a medic, if you're not healing anyone, it's pretty obvious also because the beam of health is eliminated from you. Um, so yeah, here I'm just checking to see if there's anyone, like spies or soldiers or something. And then, here, this was a really bad play by me. I, um, <laughs> again, my flaw is that I uh, was a little too thirsty for the kill, so I was pretty obvious by looking at the pyro. No one ever would really do that unless they were a spy, so he instantly knew. And also, instead of waiting for him to um, walk under me and then jumping down and stabbing him in the back, I um, jumped early. And it was pretty obvious I was a spy, so I kind of deserved to get killed there. But, um, yeah. 
so generally I do demo man or um, sniper anyways as I was saying. Um, another good tip is to um, just disguise as the class that like in an area, for example if you're in a sniping place on the map, like that walkway above, it's better to disguise as a sniper than a demo man. <laughs> Ironically I'm a demo man now, but um, just disguise as a class that um, the enemy team would suspect to see in that location because they're less likely to spy check you then. Um, and here, demo man firing. A lot of people, not just snipers, but like demo man and soldiers, like to kind of camp on that um, cliff there to, um, you know, shoot stuff into the control point. So that's a good place to um, get stabs. Here I get a nice uh, chain stab. Unfortunately, um, the speed boost on the uh, from the backstab that I get the bigger and it was a little too much, and I just walked right by that um, engineer. But um, the pyro probably would have killed me anyways, but um, who knows, maybe the speed boosts would have uh, helped me after getting that engineer stabbed. I could have escaped towards my teammates, but um, yeah, it's all good, I guess. Um, and you notice here I'm kind of staying back in the enemy lines instead of going to the control points. Um, you know, I find that the further you get away from the action, the less the paranoid they are, and the less lucky they are to shoot you. Um, so, uh, yeah, I like to not, um, unless it's like payload or something where you really have to be on the, uh, car or something, I like to kind of stay behind enemy lines, um, when I'm playing Spy. Um, I don't know what that sniper is doing, he really shouldn't have jumped to the center, but, um, <laughs> regardless. Um, see, so, again, on the walkway and where that sniper just was, people always like to kind of camp out. Um, and these snipers are pretty oblivious, I don't really know what's going on, but, um, yeah, I don't know, that guy was kind of, <laughs> whatever, but, um, here I get a nice shot with my crit, um, that I got from the backstab on that scout who's trying to go back to spawn to get health. Unfortunately, that heavy saw me, so I had to hide in here, um, and I, now the snipers are finally aware, you know, that guy was trying to aim at me. I bump into him. He does it, he's probably a newer player because he didn't really notice or pursue me into that room back there. I'm able to get some nice stabs on these snipers as they're distracted. And um, also get a double crit shot on that pyro, which is nice. Um, anyways, um, yeah, so as a spy, like, in payload and stuff, you know, um, one of your primary jobs is to uh, kill sentries and stuff like that in King of the Hill also. Um, but you know, they didn't have, have many sentries in this game, so um, I was more going for kills. Um, except for that one that guy did have a sentry, unless I did go for the, with the other spy. Um, so, uh, yeah. That, that was a very, a few seconds ago, that was a very lucky bass out on the pyro. I could have easily been screwed there, but, um, you know, he wasn't really, really aware of his surroundings. He wasn't expecting anyone to be there, so he's kind of facing towards the control point where he thought the threat was, but really he should have been facing towards me. Especially as a pyro, one of your job is, is to um, kind of spot check your team. Unfortunately, I kind of get zoned in by the three of them there, and um, <laughs> that pyro gets some nice revenge. But, um, yeah. Anyways, um, at this point, though, I've been doing some pretty good damage to the other team, you know, taking them out before they can even get to the control point to contest my team's um, advantage. Um, so, you know, so that's good. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm just going to respawn in. Uh, try to uh, see what I can do. Um, I really like the dime back. Now they can. Um, I know this is not very recent change, but I've been playing. I don't know. I've played like three years or so. So um, I like how it crits now when you get critical uh, shots when you get backstabs. I think that's really good. Boring overpowered in my opinion. If you're a good shot, I'm not a very good shot, but so it's not too overpowered for me. But um. Yeah, as you can see, someone's always there, basically. <laughs> Sometimes engineers like to go there also with their sentries and stuff. But, um, yeah, so you can always get a one or two stabs a game if you go there. And then I saw that medic pursuing me up the stairs, so I kind of made it him with the, uh, you know, corner stab, where you kind of, um, I'm sure there's some good for it. But, uh, that's all for today, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Just lay your weapons down and walk away. <laughs>